Cape Town, a South African coastal city not only home to millions of people of different cultures and traditions, but is also a melting pot for a variety of flora and fauna. Approximately 1,400 kilometers northeast of Cape Town lies Soweto, a township suburb of Johannesburg, although in the same country these two South African cities are almost complete opposites in terms of climate, vegetation and culture. Soweto is a summer rainfall district with average temperatures in summer between 26 and 30 degrees Celsius. It is generally dry, hot and made up of much of high fall grassland vegetation. At the opposite end, Cape Town's majestic Table Mountain alone has over 2,000 types of fine ball species, more than that in the entire United Kingdom. The city and much of Cape Town owes its phenomenal biodiversity to its Mediterranean climatic conditions. The winters are usually wet and cool with average temperatures of 13 degrees Celsius. Summers are dry and warm with an average high of 25 degrees Celsius. Recently, however, scientific research has indicated that the average summer temperatures in Cape Town are on the rise as a result of carbon emissions. Based on climatic analysis performed by Climate Central, a generally cool city such as Cape Town could experience much warmer temperatures as experienced in Soweto. Using a concept known as shifting cities, Climate Central and indeed researchers from South African Weather Service agree that unless emissions are drastically reduced, Cape Town's average summer temperature could be similar to those of Maseru in Lesotho at 28.3 degrees Celsius. If they are, however, not reduced, they could be similar to those of Soweto at 29.56 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. With these increments, it is very likely that weather patterns will shift to more intense and frequent drought periods, interspaced with short periods of flash floods, gale force winds, and more wildfires. Cape Town is already experiencing some of these severe conditions at its current average temperatures. Some of the worst fears are that droughts are likely to be more severe, frequent, and last longer. This poses major risks to food securities and economic opportunities. Decreased rainfall along with rising temperatures could lead to severe water shortages in a region already prone to frequent droughts. Over the last 40 years have been about nine winters with rainfall well below expected average. This will lead to even lower dam levels and shortages of fresh drinking water. Furthermore, increased temperatures in association with drier conditions and wind may increase the incidence of wildfires. Even at current temperature levels, raging fires destroy crops, cattle, and have claimed a staggering number of human lives. The cost of keeping livestock and domestic animals may increase as the need for more water and cooling may increase. One needs to bear in mind that most of these disasters are already taking place at current average temperatures levels of 26.6 degrees Celsius. Imagine how much worse these disasters could get at 29.8 degrees Celsius a little less than 100 years from now. El cambio climático es el desafío más apremiante que enfrenta la humanidad. La evidencia científica indica que la tendencia en el aumento de la temperatura del planeta se atribuye en gran medida a la actividad humana. Los impactos del cambio climático ya son una realidad en las ciudades, donde se genera el 70% de las emisiones totales de gases de efecto invernadero. Además sabemos que hacia 2050 cerca del 80% de la población del mundo vivirá en otros centros urbanos, por lo que la batalla contra el cambio climático debe iniciar en las ciudades. De no tomar acciones ahora, las consecuencias podrían ser catastróficas para el medio ambiente y se afectaría en gran medida la calidad de vida de todos los habitantes del planeta. Afortunadamente, podemos evitar que estos escenarios se vuelvan una realidad. Cada vez son más las ciudades del mundo que han asumido el compromiso y la responsabilidad de tomar acciones concretas para hacer frente a este reto. Más de 600 ciudades que representan a cerca de 500 millones de habitantes en el planeta se han comprometido a mitigar las emisiones de contaminantes responsables del cambio climático. Debemos repensar el modelo de desarrollo de las ciudades hacia un desarrollo verdaderamente sustentable que además contribuya a reducir inequidades sociales 
y promueva la equidad de género. Invito a las ciudades del mundo, a los ciudadanos, a trabajar juntos por un futuro sustentable, resiliente y bajo en carbono. Estoy convencido de que con acciones locales podemos alcanzar metas globales y lograr un mundo mejor para nosotros y para las siguientes generaciones.